But we all had our high school sweethearts, those girls or guys that had us from day one and filled our nights with hours of disbelief in how fun a game could be. The nights of old, uh, 2006 to 2014 truly was a kind of golden age. You had those instant classics, Call of Duty hitting you back to back with Modern Warfare, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, MW3, BO2, Battlefield with the OH MY GOD THAT GUY'S DEAD Halo with the GTA with the <laughs> Saints Row with the All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Fuck! Maybe. Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Fuck you! Yeah, and then the dark age came. What is this? Right. <laughs> Halo Infinite especially hurt, but for me, it, it started with the rumblings when Halo 4 released. The real first Titan to fall, it hurt my little kid heart. 3, ODST, Reach, Halo Wars, all of these had given me so much time away from homework and then this crap came along. But it was okay because GTA 5 was gonna have these super amazing heists and features that were promised at launch. Okay, but, but Call of Duty will definitely be... Uh, okay, okay, but... And now, a decade later, I'm still let down. The first nail in the coffin that had been prepared for my underage body was Fallout 4's release, but I'd say that I accepted the fate of our little gamer Dark Age when No Man's Sky came out. It was a real last straw for me in many ways. To be hyped on so many promises that we'd get a game that met almost all of our expectations of intergalactic space exploration in an open world setting than to have the burlap sack ripped off of our heads seeing that in reality we were all getting bent over a casting couch. To say the least, it was a really good dose of reality for a lot of husky teenage gamers. They don't care anymore. Now this is definitely true of the suits of the corporations. It's touch and go with some of the actual devs and writers and other artists that work on these games. Just like a content creator that makes uh, subpar videos about video games. Uh, even if you don't always love the content that you're making on any given day, there's usually still got to be some sort of passion behind it. And so any anger that is felt by the oppressed husky teenage gamers should be directed towards the leadership of these gaming studios. When we asked for boots on the ground gameplay, the studios responsible for COD games gave us four years of literally the same game except the guns were a little different. Uh, World War II was okay, but it wasn't until 2019 Modern Warfare that anyone actually cared to pick the games back up. Halo hasn't been genuinely great since 2010. Halo 4 was a disappointment. Halo 5 was fun gameplay and infinite. God, infinite. This was meant to be my true gamer resurrection. It almost caused my true gamer suicide. This was to be something amazing, but almost a year later, the game still lacks content. In my eyes, it's just like COD Cold War. The mechanics are awesome, the gameplay is definitely fun enough to justify the anger I feel when I die to the same guns that I'm using against the people that are killing me, but they missed when it comes to the content. All you have to do is allow custom maps. Take a page out of Bethesda's book. These motherfuckers are evil, but they literally have an entire fan base. After over a decade of bullshit, still dedicated to creating their game for them. Just let some motherfuckers create your multiplayer maps who actually care about the content. Bro, I still want to make a video specifically dedicated to the brains at work with Beyond Skyrim, Skyrim Together, and so many more private dev teams powered by sheer will to bring to life the framework that these careless companies gave us. In the case of Halo Infinite, here's what 343 could do to make it up to the fan base. Focus full efforts on split screen co-op, forge and customizable multiplayer game modes. Release them once they're finished all together. Allow the community to share maps and game modes through an easy to understand UI and system then showcase the community's favorite game modes in their own dedicated playlists. Bring back fan favorites if need be. Switch them out weekly. Just bring back infection. Actual infection. And for the love of God just just let us customize our armor the way that we want. Custom colors, all armor on one character, and some type of earning system that isn't ridiculous. And one of the most annoying things that every game company does nowadays. 
some of the games that have made their fan bases actually somewhat fulfilled started an awful practice of battle passes and tiers and loot boxes and microtransactions. You've heard it all. But at least it started off with cool stuff like CSGO's skin. Fortnite just started bringing in the most retarded people and characters from all types of universes and walks of life. Insert the, I hate Fortnite people. Yes, I get it. It's not the best game and it's pretty comparable to a daycare center at this point, but at least they entertain the kids. Seeing Rick Sanchez, Kamehameha, some poor Naruto that's being carried by Travis Scott is one of the funniest slew of words anyone could throw together. And it just so happens to actually be in a video game. Bro, most of the stuff that they come up with doesn't even make it past the concept art stage. And you could be playing one of the many CODs with incendiary shots and shotguns. This practice of battle passes that's been adopted by many games is just the shittiest, most sewage attempt at retaining players. Almost nobody even pays attention to the damn thing unless they had some sort of weed or anime skin into it. And so in conclusion, it's terrible and should be reduced to atoms. But well, we may have lost the institution that is a game, we haven't lost the will of the gamers. It lives on in strength through the modders, map creators, indie game devs, and many a gamer alike. The will to finally one day play a fun game. Uh, the pursuit of true self-preservation, if you may. Aside from that, I've got to go play some really unfun games and convince myself that I'm having a great time. Make sure to subscribe for some more content and I'll see you in a few days.